But before installing the bed floor wood, there's a few projects I want to wrap up. One being the gas tank straps. Now these are stainless steel turnbuckles, commonly used on seafaring vessels. You'll see them on rigging and on railing. They're a perfect fit for this application with a load limit well above what I required. I just figured out that when you drop this, it automatically blows into as many pieces as possible. So after 25 minutes of searching my shop floor for these four pieces, we're back in business. It's important when you push this cable into this piece to make sure your threads are bottomed out here. Otherwise you're going to push your cable into the threads, your take up threads. Okay, we'll get some wrenches on that and get it nice and tight. I was really happy with the quality, the design, the price, and the functionality of these. I would definitely consider using them on future projects. The turnbuckle clasps fit perfectly onto some chain links I had laying around, so I opted to use those as the mounting points. This is just an off-the-shelf fuel tank replacement for a Chevy Blazer. It happened to fit perfectly between my frame rails. I think the part number is GM15B, 25 gallons, a reasonable price, it works perfect. I decided it was going to be much easier to work on if the bed was off, plus I planned to tackle the air compressor and air tank mounting which will require the bed to be off. These are just rubber isolator strips I was using for mock-up. I plan to come up with something a little more permanent further down the road. I also slipped some quarter inch Synflex airline over top of the cable which fit perfectly over my 3 16 diameter cable and that's going to prevent any metal on metal wear. So all said and done, it tightened up really well. It shouldn't have any vibration or very much movement at all. I was really happy with the outcome. So the working load limit of all the hardware I used puts me up somewhere around 540 pounds which should be plenty. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to check back frequently. Up next, we'll be tackling air management. I'm going to mount the air tanks and the air compressor.